Subtracting integers can be hard, frustrating, and especially confusing. If you know how to use multiple methods, they won't look so scary anymore. Hi, my name is Sophie, and I'm going to teach you three methods you can use to subtract an integer. A number line, integer tiles, and traditional method. Each method works and is really helpful in different ways. Well, only when you know how to use them correctly. First, you should know what an integer really is. Integers are all positive numbers and their opposites, including zero. On a number line, negative numbers are to the left of zero and positive numbers are to the right of zero. For example, negative four's opposite is positive four. Both are integers. A positive integer has a positive sign in front of it, which looks like an addition sign. A negative integer has a negative sign in front of it, which looks like a subtraction sign. A positive integer is a number that has more value than zero or any negative number. A negative integer is a number that has less value than zero. For our first method, let's take negative two minus five. First, draw your number line. Now mark your first integer, which is negative two. Next, jump or move five places to the left. We jump to the left because when we subtract, we're making numbers smaller. Last, mark where you land. You can do this method a different way. Again, draw your number line and mark the negative two. Now instead of jumping five individual spaces, just jump one big one. If you finished this problem correctly, you should have got the answer, negative seven. The benefits of this method are that it is a lot more visual than other methods you could use. The next method you can use is tile spacers. Let's take our previous expression, negative two minus five. First, you will draw two negative signs representing negative two. The expression says take five from negative two. Subtraction means take away. The problem is we don't have five positives to subtract. Now under two negative signs, draw five zero pairs because you don't have five positive to subtract. A zero pair is a positive and negative integer combined that equals zero. Next, you will circle five positives in your zero pairs and take them away. Add up the leftover negatives, which is seven. The benefit of this method are that it is very visual, but you wouldn't necessarily want to use this for large numbers. The last and final method is traditional method. First, you'll write your expression negative two minus five. Now you'll rewrite your expression and add the opposite. This means that we're taking the subtraction expression and turning it into an addition expression and changing positive five into a negative five. We can do this because subtraction is equivalent to adding the opposite. Now you will add. If you simplified this expression correctly, you should have gotten negative seven. The benefits of this method are that it is very fast, but it can be confusing at times. There are many ways to subtract integers. Some are hard and frustrating, others are longer and visual. Thanks, I'm Sophie, and I hope you consider using multiple methods. Frustrating and especially confusing. method is very really helpful but I <laughs> said stuff wrong. Okay. I teach you I said that right that time.